Yo, what's good? What's going on, everyone? Hope you're having a great day. It's Neff. Today, I'm going to be going through a bunch of Sims for Havoc Demon Hunter in Season 4. And we're going to be looking at trinkets, talent builds, and embellishments, and everything like that. Before I get into everything, I am going to link a, a little preset that you guys can use and uh, Sim stuff yourself. And I'll show you how to use it really quick. So, this might be a little flashbang really quick. Close your eyes. Um, and just go to this link. And then copy this here then you can just go to top gear paste it in here and then with a new feature that raidbots added it's pretty cool um it's called the item search uh, they added this a couple months ago um, but say you want to search something up like a trinket so let's say i want to sim ashes so ashes is there then i set the item level uh which the max item level for this would be 528 next season so we do that and then I don't think this really matters. Um, yeah, so it's just like catalyst stuff. It doesn't really matter. Um, I, I would just keep this unchecked at all times since you're selling stuff for the new season. Just uncheck that and just literally click the thing. And then there's a trinket. It's showing up now. Uh, turn it off, turn it on. Um, so if you want to send stuff like embellishments, uh, search up life bound. We'll use the wrist. Uh, it shows that this item level is too high, so highest crafting item level will be 525. We click that. Then we add the wrist. And then now to add an embellishment to it, this is just a raw piece, a raw crafted piece. You go down to the piece, you click this little icon here. You can change the stats on it, so you can make it crit haste. Um, can add embellishments stuff like blue silk and lining and then you can also add a socket so this is our final piece here you can unselect all that stuff and then now we have a piece a fully upgraded crafted piece with a socket and an embellishment on it uh, just from using this tool so this is really cool it's a really nice tool they added a couple months ago and um yeah so if you want to start cooking yourself uh, this is linked in the description and you can, uh, yeah, just test stuff out yourself if you want. All right. So we're just going to get into the Sims now. So this is the single target talent builds, um, that I came up with or that I generated. Um, so this is the top simming build. It's a semi, like no mover, no momentum, no essence break, no fire inside, no immolation aura talents. Um, it's pretty straightforward gameplay. Bear in mind, this is like a single target only type of build once you add like any mob count into the mix uh this build is going to fall off pretty heavily as we can see here the current build we're playing it's only two percent behind and then once you add like any type of ads or a second boss or anything uh it's just going to be a bit better than this one so let's look at the three target sim now so this is three targets three bosses for five minutes straight so this is really only like relevant on like primal council sometimes council of dreams uh, I can't remember if there's three bosses at all times or sometimes on Forgotten Experiments, but I'm not too sure. I think there's only like, in Mythic, there's only like two at a time, but you can do three. I don't know. Anyways, three targets, five minutes. Uh, this is the build. It's telling you to play Ragefire and No Furious Gaze. Basically, the AoE build we play right now. Really surprisingly, the no rage fire just furious gaze sims like even with rage fire i don't really understand this one but sim only lies uh sometimes forgotten experiments i would probably play furious gaze uh council of dreams i would play rage fire and primal council i would definitely play rage fire but yeah this sim is only relevant like a couple situations so let's just go to the aoe one this is five targets for 40 seconds this is where start stuff starts to get wonky this is what you would look at as like your mythic plus build um with this type of sim so our top sim is no essence break furious gaze rage fire uh i recommend not playing that i recommend playing no furious gaze and just playing essence break playing like the build we play now uh because this is just going to give you way more single target uh essence break will sorry i'm clicking all over the place but yeah this is what i would play for mythic plus Obviously, you can change the glass tree, like get sigil of misery and stuff. Um, yeah, focusing on, focusing on the spec tree for Mythic Plus, this is definitely what I would play. 
Uh, it's just going to give you way more single target than this would uh, because of Essence Break. So now let's move on to Embellishments. So Embellishments, Blue Silk and Lining, again, like this season, or last season, uh, I sim the highest, but this is at 50% uptime. And it's only by a tiny amount. What is this? 2k? It's like point five percent I think uh 4k at 400 dps 400k dps would be one percent so it's about it's about 0.5 percent better and with the rng with blue silk and lining um i made the mistake of crafting blue silk and lining um in the actual amir Drasil tier and i mean it wasn't bad like i was doing like the same damage as uh, other dhs with um the toxic thorn foot things but uh, yeah, I don't recommend blue silicon lining on stuff like Farak. Like your uptime is just gonna get shit on um, during progression. But we don't know how hard these bosses are gonna be tuned, um, like with the new item level. So your uptime could be amazing. So I don't know. I recommend just going um, toxic patch with the foot wraps because it's 0.5% behind and there's no RNG. Uh, in comparison to blue silicon lining. The next thing we'll look at is trinkets. So this is the single target trinket sim. Anvil is just our best trinket overall. As you can see, you know, with basically every combination, it's just Anvil X. Although they did just buff brand, uh, they made it proc off of procs. I'm not sure what that means. If that's just like procs from the brand or like dots from everything overall, if it just wasn't proccing from dots. So stuff like Burning Wound and uh, Soul Rend, or whatever it's called now. Soul Scar, whatever the hell it's called. Um, I'm not sure if it was proccing off that stuff. Maybe it wasn't. And maybe Brand is just like insane now for us. Uh, but either way, Anvil and Brand are our best setup, is our best setup in single target. So if you're more focused on raiding, uh, for your first NR, I would definitely take a, an Anvil. If you really just want to do Mythic Plus, I wouldn't take an Anvil. Anvil is, <laughs> it feels really bad to use a Mythic Plus uh, because the stacks just fall off. Surprisingly, Whispering Icon is up here. Uh, you know, keep in mind that Grief Torch, if someone dies next to you, you get a basically free Grief Torch. Um, so this has potential to do like way more damage than uh, the Sim says. Dragonfire Bomb Dispenser, this got nerfed. The proc rate got reduced by like 200% or something, or the, the ICD got reduced by 200%, and um, I'm not sure if that reflects the sim. I, I'm not sure if it's updated yet, but uh, yeah, this could be a lot worse than what the sim says. Boiled Serpent, this is the bait trinket. Don't ever use this. This thing actually sucks. So this is the trinket sim for AoE. It's 40 seconds, five targets. Uh, the sim tells you to go ashes and storm meter. I don't know how I feel about this. I mean, it's going to do a lot of damage, like for those 40 seconds, obviously. Um, but outside of that, it's going to fall off pretty hard. Um, where area where like where else you could use something like a pips or an ashes or something like. OCE and Ashes, uh, something like most of the time in Mythic Plus, you want like a trinket you can use with your cooldowns and then something that will just always be proccing outside of your cooldowns just to give you a little bit extra damage for the most part. So this might be really good. Like you're probably going to do like a crazy amount of damage and high overall with this setup here, but I don't know if I recommend it. I recommend something just like Ashes and Pips or Ashes and OCE or Icon, uh, Call to Chaos is pretty good. Augury is obviously pretty good, um, but you're losing out on a lot of primary here. Uh, same with the Call to Chaos. See, if I was like full abyss, I had every trink in the game. Um, what I would go into a Mythic Plus with would definitely be like Ashes and Pips. Or if your entire group has it, um, Ashes and Icon, because it'll obviously it gives value to uh, the people that are in your group but yeah that's pretty much it so single target build uh i would use this build for aoe or mythic plus 
Um, don't use blue silicon lining, it's too RNG. Your uptime could be terrible and it's just gonna be way worse than uh, the boots will be. Trinkets for single target and raid. These are gonna be your go-to options. On fights that are less than five minutes, brand is gonna fall off because it takes about three minutes to get to 15 stacks and brand really doesn't do damage until you get 15 stacks. So anything under five minutes, I would use either anvil and augury. I'm just gonna do a quick sim really quick. So yeah, anything less than five minutes. Uh, early on, this probably isn't gonna be an issue uh, in these raids, but later on, like once everybody has like full bis, the, you know, most of these bosses are just gonna be falling over. Um, so we'll look at the trinkets at four minutes, a four minute fight. All right, so at four minutes, it's telling us to use anvil and augury. Then Grief Torch, obviously someone dies, Grief Torch damage just goes way up. Basically just get a free use. Uh, Bandolier, I wouldn't use this thing ever, this thing sucks. Brand, uh, yeah, I just, anything under five minutes or at five minutes, I probably wouldn't use Brand. Uh, because if it's a five minute fight, most of the time you're not gonna be hitting the boss for five minutes straight. So you're not gonna be getting as much value as the sim says. So five minute fight or longer, use brand. Five minute fight or lower, don't use brand. But obviously if that's like the only high item level trinket you have, then you should probably use it. But yeah, anvil and augury, anvil, grief torch, anything like that under five minutes for sure. Yeah, I was going to make a document going through all this stuff and you know, showing like the BIS list and stuff like I did in the previous seasons. But um, I don't know. I've, I've had thoughts about the document and I'm kind of having an idea to maybe come up with a website uh, for all this stuff. I might be putting something like that together uh, to where you don't have to look at just a Google document. Um, but Shatterwreck does a good job on Wowhead, so most of the time you can just, you know, look at a BIS list on Wowhead and, you know, get all the information you need. Obviously, it doesn't go into depth with like Sims and stuff like this. Um, but Wowhead is the Demon Hunter guide writer. Shatterwreck is pretty good with, um, he, he's really good with, uh, like Bissless and stuff and like giving tips and, and all the guides and stuff. So yeah, I just decided to make this little preset that you can use. So yeah, again, this is linked in the description. Use it, copy it, pop gear, boom, paste, item search sim anything you want any item level uh yeah and also you can use this preset to uh just look at the gear that i have uh used in sims so see so yeah, i think that's it hope you guys enjoyed the video found something useful leave a like comment all that stuff and uh yeah until next time see ya